Since my last video about the scrolling chip cards, I've noticed a few tiny issues. So I thought I'd just make a quick update video to show how I fixed them. Let me know in the comments if you have other ideas as well. If you haven't watched the other video, you should probably watch that first. Full updated code are on the Gumroad link in the description. This is how the scrolling chip cards looked at the end of the last video. First issue you can see is that everything is kind of middle aligned. It sort of fixes itself on mobile, but we may as well fix it on other devices too. All we need to do is add justify content, flex start to the general styling. Another issue I've been having is that I'm not allowed to have spaces between words or letters in the chips. As you can see, if I add a space before the W, it jumps up to two lines, and the icon gets squished as well. To fix this, we have to add two CSS lines to every button. So let's add flex basis and set it to one, and flex shrink and set it to zero. Then just copy those two lines onto all the other buttons. In my mobile dashboard, there's a border or padding around the edge. This of course makes sense and most apps have a similar border, but I think it would be cool if this scrolling bar kind of went outside this edge. It would then give more of an indication that there is something more hidden outside. We can do this by adding a width rule to the general styling. In this rule, we could add a calculation where we take 100%, which would just be the same as it is currently, and then add 20 pixels, or the size of the padding, to the width. And I think that looks a lot better. Last thing I want to do is just add that gradient background to the buttons that are only visible when on. This goes along with the rest of my design, where active devices or entities has this gradient background. And that's all I've done to this since my last video. I think this is pretty cool and has a lot of use cases. There's a bunch of stuff that could be added to this. Maybe you have some scenes that you trigger often, or maybe you track if people are home or not. Let me know in the comments if you have other ideas. Thanks for watching, until next time.